struggle I guess there's beauty in everything There's peace in a heartbreak And there's fire in the brain So if everything means nothing these days, baby another vlog i don't think today i have vlogged not no yeah i have not vlogged today so guys today's on a saturday i'm looking outside because it's raining so today's on a saturday and today we are meant to go out to do not wheel as in me and my family know me and my friends like the ladies will meet them later because all of them are youtubers so today being on, on a saturday on 29th of saturday we actually wanted to go hiking in Karura forest it was meant to be um morning hiking but because all of us are quite quite busy we decided we will do an afternoon hiking afternoon slash evening hiking because i had like a busy day like personally for me i had a busy day and basically all the other ladies who are also you know like their mornings were engaged so i went to gikombas always anytime i have some free time I rush to go thrifting. You know, I have a thrifting business on Instagram. Let me plug myself shamelessly. Yeah, at this underscore k underscore homes on Instagram. Also, we are also on Facebook and we are also on TikTok. I'm trying to, you know, introduce it to TikTok, but I don't know how you guys do it. If you are a TikToker, teach me your ways because, like, the consistency, like, for me to be consistent on TikTok, even for my personal page. 
it's a problem guys i don't have the time i don't have the time yeah but anyway guys i don't want to talk too much because i'm already late because right now it's two and the ladies are in cbd some of the ladies are already in cbd like for me i had to go to yekomba do a bit of thrifting and then pass by you know cbd let me fix this yeah pass by cbd to run a few errands before you know i came home and also i was doing deliveries for zsk home so it's been a busy morning for me so right now i'm at home and if i don't do this haul right now i'll not be able to do it any other time you guys i'll not be able to do it another time because once i finish this is you know me shower change and head out so that we can go hiking i will also take you guys along with me so one thing that i've been looking for guys you remember guys one thing i've been always looking for for quite some time now were curtains and today was my lucky day i did get like white curtains and also i did get some shears but for the shears i think i will use them in the living room they are over here because they are really big for zen's bedroom if i use it in zen's bedroom i'll only use one piece and not two so i got curtains today let me show you guys <laughs> They're here these are the shears the shears are really 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 nice i love 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 them so this is how they look like there are two pieces this is how they look let me show you yeah i think i'll have to remove this this from inside i don't know what it is but this is generally how they look like so i got two pieces they are quite big i think they can fit perfectly for my living room i don't know if i should place them in the living room or in the bedroom for zen but that's how i got two pieces these and these thrift and you guys won't believe how much i bought the two of these i bought them at 300 bob the two of these i bought them at 300 bob he was selling them at one piece at 200 but you know me and bargaining i can bargain until jesus comes so i bought the, these at 300 for the two pieces so meaning one piece i got it at 150 and then i got curtains they are they are not brilliant white but they are white are they of white curtains no they are not of white they are actually white curtains two pieces again i got it for zen's bedroom my fingers are crossed that you know they fit i know for the uh, is it the length the length i know it will fit but for the height i don't know if the height is going to be perfect or not my fingers are crossed that the height you know fits so this is how they look like they're just white but i had to buy these rings but these rings in gikoba they are sold very expensively because i was buying one at 30 no, one at 20 Kenyan shillings. I remember the first guy was selling them a piece like this, one piece at 40 bob. And so I had to buy the tap and buy these rings, the white rings, so that they can fix on this because these did not have, did not come with the rings. This was the other, you know, the normal curtain. So you just check your curtain rod and like put it inside and i did not want that i wanted rings because every all my curtains actually have rings so i bought two pieces and you guys do not believe it so the curtain alone i'm just hoping that it's long enough the curtain alone these curtains were going for a hundred per piece i kid you not guys they were 100 so these two curtains were 200 and then i bought the rings and the tape what what i mean by the tape with this white piece here can you be able to see it yeah this white part over here that's what i got at um was it at 100 or 200 because everything like after adding these and then after you know taking them to a fundi to fix the rings for me i think i spent at around 540 for the two which is a steal because if you know how much curtains do cost that's a steal 500 for two curtains and it's pure cotton you guys pure cotton and it's white it's just a plus for me so i got this too uh, so that's everything i got as uh, for zen's bedroom 
from Gikoma, not from Gikoma, because I got so many stuff. I, I guess I will do a separate haul for Gikomba, especially for outfits, because I got so many outfits for me and for Zen. So maybe I'll do a different haul for that, because if I start doing that haul right now, we will not finish right now. We will not finish uh, in time, and I need to get out of this house. So you guys remember, I did share with you this light. Yeah, this light. And it did not have a bulb, so... I also I was also looking for light fixtures, especially for Zen's bedroom. You guys remember I've been doing a makeover in that room. I know you guys. I know I've been saying the uh, the video is coming up. The video is coming up, but trust me, the video will be up soon. So I got this is the light that I did thrift again in Gikomba, but it did not have a bulb. So one of you was asking me if the lights do work. Yeah, they, when you buy these like fixtures, they always always test them for you before. You go with them at home so i got these and this was going for and uh, i mean i got these a while ago i think i did share with you this in my gikomba hall yeah so guys i got the bulb and this bulb was going for 150 i got these and others uh another what is it called light fixture i'm going to share with you so for that person who was asking me if this works let me test for you I have an extension there then it comes with this yeah it works guys it works it's a warm light it's a warm light I wanted a warm light for the bedroom because this is actually for the bedroom so that's why I got that warm light and this bulb was only going for a hundred and fifty Kenyan shillings I will plug you guys on where I got the light so i also got a light fixture that is not fixed for zen's bedroom and let me show you but guys i'm not going to open it because it's glass if i mishandle it i might break it so this is the glass part i was able to vlog for you guys so i'll add that here before this haul so you can see these um uh, you can see from here yeah that's the glass that you know it's supposed to go like in here in this part so it comes with several parts it's a whole set and i think this set yeah, it's a whole set when i fix the light it's when i'll be able to share with you but it comes with this piece this piece it has so many pieces this piece and this piece over here and this piece and now the glass so i'll not be able to open the glass because i want it to be fixed so i'll show you guys when um this light fixture has already been fixed i will share with you that because hubby is the one who's going to fix this for me i'm not going to call a fundi to fix this because it's very hubby can do this so he'll fix this and this whole light Thank you guys. Let me plug you on where you can be able to get lights at a very affordable price. As as low as 1500 Kenyan shillings, you can be able to get like very good light fixtures or light pendants. Even the wall scones like from 1500 going uh, upwards because 1500 is the cheapest. So if you can find your way in CBD, downtown CBD on Duruma Lane, if you just ask anybody Duruma Lane, they will show you where it is. There are so many shops there selling different types of lights or lighting for your house. So you can just walk around, compare prices. But I bought mine in Frappa. Is it called Frappa? Yeah, Frappa Lighting. Yeah, it's Frappa Lighting. So I got mine from there. And guys, they have amazing lights. Also, the varieties in there. I went to Frappa Lighting and I also went to Power. I think it's called Power Lighting, yeah. Like guys, those two shops have varieties. They, they have different uh, types of light fixtures. So in case you need light fixtures, just go downtown Nairobi CBD on Duruma Lane. Walk around that lane. They have so many light fixtures going on. So that's what I was able to get. Also, I've been needing this thing. This is a sink, a drainage thing. I don't know what it's called, but it sounds like this mine has been leaking so i needed to get a new one for the sink so i got this set this set was actually going for only 250 yeah 
very cheap if you ask me what else did i get but something else guys that i've been needing to buy is my kitchen faucet is it called a faucet or kitchen tap i don't know zen is here he was sleeping but now he's here so he's disturbing mommy as always so i got this um is it kitchen sink tap <laughs> i don't know what it's called guys but that's how it looks like it's a for sale let me see they have just said kitchen wall kitchen tap yeah that's how it looks like if you have been here for quite some time you guys understand my struggles with that kitchen then so if you have been here for quite some time you understand my kitchen tap got spoiled what i've been using is that small one i will show you guys later but this is what i got for today it ha it comes with this thing over here to regulate water so it has the shower thingy and also the just the normal you know like tap and the good thing is because i have two sinks it rotates i wanted the one that has two taps down here but that one is quite expensive it was going for like five thousand and this one was going for two thousand but after bargaining i got this at 1800 yeah here is the receipt i got it at 1800 so you can see here then can you stop it baba so that's how it looks like and i'm really happy about this because i can adjust you can you know put it up like that down like this you know put it in the other sink return it in this other sink i love love this faucet is it how yeah, i think it's called a faucet or well, let's just call it a tap and this is how you open and close it let me give zen because he wants to finish me over here so that's what i got in cbd i got so many things but i think i'll share with you later i also got even a um what is this called a bonnet a bonnet a bonnet because um i want to start growing out my hair so i'll be plating so when i saw this it was going for like a hundred bob from those guys in cbd so i took this something else that i really wanted but this one i will share with you guys in another vlog because i think it it's a haul on its own on its own i can't even talk you guys i can't even talk i can't even talk one piece bottle truck so guys even the tap i got it on that duruma lane because those shops there they have you know apart from lighting they also have like these faucets you know showers and everything in between so guys that was it for everything that i got uh, today in cbd for gikomba hall a try on hall that video will be coming up because i got i got guys i got so many cute pieces at an affordable price like some are going for 10 shillings others are going for 30 bob so i will share that with you guys later on but as for now i want to go shower and then head out of this house and go meet up with my friends and we go to you know king so i'll take you guys along the next time i'll be talking to you guys i'll be out there going to meet the girls and the weather is so bad i'm just i'm just hoping it will not rain because if it's going to rain to rain it's going to you know it's going to ruin everything but let's just see guys let's see so let me uh go take a shower i'll see you guys later on so guys before i go i forgot to mention that this is also a part of uh, you know the this is also part of you know the video that series that i've been i started last week where i called it you know making my house a home so this is episode two of that series because i still have so many things like so many home improvement projects that i want to do so i'm going to be doing them in bits here and there guys forgive zen in the background he's reading so yeah this is episode two of you know making my house a home yeah i do hope that you guys are loving this kind of you know videos or projects or this series i do hope that you are loving it if you are give this video a thumbs up share me out if you can that would really really appreciate okay enough of talking let me go shower. hi guys how are you doing welcome back to another vlog today is on a saturday and it's at a girl's 
day out. So, meet the ladies. Jojo. Hi, hey. guys. Just here. Just, just. Please check me out. <laughs> she is our driver for today, so she will not talk much, but go to her channel. Her channel name is Just World. She has two channels actually. One, Just World. The other one is just called family. Just Family. Yes. Just Family. I'll leave the names on the screen so that you can go and check her out. Yes, yes, ladies at the back. Hi. Hi. We are finally here mm -hmm. to me meet. So, my name is Joan Jojo, for those who do not know me. But I think I've appeared in this channel so many times. So, <laughs> it's good to see you guys again in this uh, channel. So, yeah, we are out and about. Hey, hey, guys. Saseni. I'm uh, Josephine from Journey with Shiwine. And finally, to my partner and sister, and it's time to go now for our fun time. So stay connected to see where we will head to, and hope you have fun, guys. Yeah. So guys, we have met the ladies. Kindly go to their channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you are notified every time they have a new upload. So we are headed somewhere. I will let you know when we arrive there. I forgot to mention it earlier guys, we were actually going to Karura Forest for an evening hike. We were supposed to do a morning hike but in the morning all of us were busy so we decided to go in the afternoon and guys we had an amazing amazing experience over here. Karura Forest guys is one of those places you can go just to connect with nature, do different activities, hang out with friends and family and all that guys. And guys in Karura Forest there are a different I mean activities that you can be able to do one this bike riding where you go and hire a bike at only 500 kenyan shillings and you'll be able to you know ride around the forest and then bring it back the 500 only caters for an hour so if you choose to you know increase it you know have many more hours you have to actually pay more but if you just want to go for like you know an hour and so it's only 500 guys so we are already here and girls have to take you know pictures because of you know memories sake other activities that you can be able to do in Karura forest include guys hiking videography photography you name it guys because when we were here you know we were just here you know to connect with nature and also you know exercise you know keep fit we met so many people in Karura forest here guys just you know exercising running you know and all that and it was so beautiful to watch and experience this and guys over here this is the outfit of the day so let's go have some walk here maybe we'll do a bit of jogging here and there and then later on we'll have a picnic and head home walk out the door in my little black dress been a long day and i need to distress sun sets be guys we've taken over this channel you guys yes we are here Hmm. Having a good time. And by the way, guys, the weather is so awesome. Ooh. Mm, it's not hot. It's not and hot. It it's not hot cold. Yeah, yeah, it was so. Yeah, we have taken over just for a short moment. We are doing yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are at Karura, you guys. Hey, this place. So serene. It's so peaceful. If, if you love nature, and nature walks it yeah is this is this the be. place to be yep yeah so mm. we mm. are here to lose mm. a few kilos yeah. <laughs> guys okay. we are over here okay. for a nature walk we are going actually we are going for hiking mm -hmm. apart from hiking we we'll also be doing picnic mm. we also want to lose a few kgs so we are also going to go for like two kilometers run yeah. and then we do another two kilometers walk that will be enough so, no. yeah you know so make I'm sure laughing. to you know why i'm laughing jojo yes because yeah you're taking a walk mm. then whatever you're feeding yourself is mm. now <laughs> no we are we, we yeah no, i know see so we are going to run but we are going to have them in portions whatever <laughs> it is that we are going to have mm -hmm. but we have fruits we okay. have we have nice uh no, healthy after, after all the stuff. hiking and the running we have to eat <laughs> we have to eat <laughs> and the basically the only the energy. only thing that we have that is that is not maybe a hundred percent healthy are just the cakes but mostly we have fruits we have um what else do we have we have fruits actually any fruits actually cake. it's fruits and yeah. cake and chips 
kai hiyo unachoma aki mwenye channel amechoma uh, but this place is really uh, a bit muddy so you know this season uh, ni ile season ya mvua so yeah it's been raining so ukikuja huku this season make sure you dress well but anyway so let me allow the owner of the channel to take over so so far so good eh uh, yeah i think i'll show you linda running on your marks this guy is well wameamua mhm ni wale wase tumekataa ku jog ona hadi wame disappear eh ni mwache Okay. I'm so scared. <laughs> Let's see who is going to win this game. I'm not I'm not even ready, guys. What is it? That she has to do a challenge. You have to do it. Oh. oh my God. Whatever she picks, she has to do. So that is what she has picked. She has to run. She has to run. You okay. think I cannot run? Okay, go. Hold here. <laughs> Let me run this side. Okay. So One, two, three. <laughs> Heavy duty. Ten GB. That is the farthest she can go. <laughs> NGB <laughs> Linda are you ready I'm ready you ready bring it on bring it on Camera behind the camera is just so let's do this Here is what she has to do Okay So choose <laughs> Ask a stranger for their cell phone number. No. You know why I said we do it early yeah. so that the next person we meet you start asking for their number. You don't want to know the other one? Ask a number from a stranger. Which number now? It's the same thing. I just use different words so that you still get the same. <laughs> the rule I'm I'm setting the rules. You're asking from a man. So as you can see, she's psyching herself up. There's someone over there. I don't know whether she will climb to ask someone the number. <laughs> or what will happen? There she is. Watch out. shout. Fast attempt to the game. Si amenaona amemwambia ya viatu. This was a wholesome experience guys. This is something I would do over and over again guys. We had like different games to play. We you know but the th the only thing that was limiting us was the time because as you guys will notice at around this time it was already like around 5:30 so we were not even able to go all the way to the waterfall because one it was so slippery we you know the route here it's so slippery and also it was getting dark so for our own safety we chose to come back and have our picnic and go home so in case we'll be going here anytime soon make sure you go at least early so that you experience everything 
But you know, we decided we'll be back here again because we did love this experience. It was wholesome and we did enjoy ourselves. By the time we were sitting down to have something to bite, guys, it was already late. I think it was already around like 6.30 or 6.40 in the evening. So we only had like 20 minutes for us to snack on something before the park closes. So this is us just, you know, hurrying up, eat something. And then, you know, the rest of the food actually we ate in the car on our way back because it was so, so, so late, you know, and we had to leave the park because they don't allow people inside the forest. Uh, by 7 p.m. 7 p.m. you are asked to leave this place guys but all in all we did have an awesome day we did enjoy this day it was an, uh, a new and wholesome experience especially experiencing it with you know uh, different people experiencing it with friends who have you know same interests as you it was really really a good day and it was you know nice again you know just going to nature and connecting with nature guys so I do hope that you also have experienced this through the video and guys, please share this video out if you did enjoy the video. Share me out. Comment down below. Like the video. And I really, really appreciate guys. Keep me from falling apart. This pain is hard to ignore. I can't do it anymore. No. Yeah. I can't do this anymore. No, 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 no. Hey. But here I am. As a boy, I never thought that I'd grow as a man. Always felt like getting know that just gon' go as planned. Yeah, that too that morning when I had been my friend and that's my brother to the end. Night spent not sleep and I was trying to understand. I'm begging you, God, please, to wash away my sins. I know that on the surface I'm okay, but it's pretend. I wanna feel human again. Ask if I'm okay, I tell them, hell yeah, I'm straight, really, I'm dying inside. This marks the end of today's video, guys. I do hope that you did enjoy the video. I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Love and light. Bye bye.